unemployment rate is at its highest point in 25 years. So it's been two and a half years since I've been out of, a, out of a Georgia Pacific. This afternoon, Bank of America announced it would be cutting as many as 35,000 jobs next year. Out of 80 people, there is now four people working at that company, so I've laid off with everyone else. I think we'll continue to lose a lot of jobs, probably a million jobs, over the next three to four months. But throughout the rest of this year, you're still going to see declines in jobs, and I think in construction, manufacturing, and in the service sector. The government confirms that many more people were joining the nation's unemployment lines last month. The pace of job loss accelerating, giving the economic situation an increasingly ominous tone. employed person picks up the telephone, if they choose the telephone, they call 1-800-318-6022 and they go through a phone tree of course and eventually get a live human being. So I recommend to the unemployed person they prepare a little bit before they call and they just give all and divulge all the information or data through the telephone and the unemployment insurance telecenter person processes all that information and then within a X amount of time a check shows up in the mail. It's actually extremely easy. I do everything on the internet. Um, I don't have to fill anything out ever anymore. I just filled out the initial form and that's it. You can go on the internet, answer about five questions, and they send you the money every week. Right Lori Garbots was laid off in July. She used to run events for a private equity firm. Now she's using her free time to volunteer and possibly network. Right now, jobs with recruiters, the normal way you're going along, it's just not happening. So you've got to really think outside the box and network. And you just never know on a chance meeting with maybe another volunteer, you might find something. But above all, it keeps you positive, and that's why I like doing it. I have a big motorhome, so I enjoy doing that. But you know, you can only travel so long in the motorhome, then I get bored and I want to go. I just like venturing into different fields and enjoying different things. I recently started learning to play the guitar. I play drums, I work on cars, go on vacation sometimes. On my spare time, I'm busy with grandkids and trying to go to the beach. I like to clam dig. Then I started into going to school, and so it kept me busy. and and I kind of like the idea. <laughs> if you're one of these people who don't have a job right now, you may be saying, how can I even afford to go back to school? Are there some specific scholarships tailored just for them? There are, and that's the great news. I mean, one thing the Obama administration has done is really tried to push uh, making education more available to people who are unemployed. Right now, there's some terrific scholarships, okay. and there's also terrific loans available. There's a new program starting in July that once you take out this loan and you graduate, it'll make it very easy to repay it. Uh, if you make 10 years of payments, now I know that's a long time, but 10 years of payments, <laughs> at the end of that, then you'll have your, the rest of your loan forgiven. So that at least there's a light at the end of the tunnel for a change. 